Let's go! Ow! This is the day that the Lord has made, baby. Yeah! We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome! I need you to get in the chair and let me know what city you at. Motivate, motivate, hey! Motivate, motivate, hey! Yeah! Motivate, motivate! Ah! Welcome to another edition of Motivation Mondays. I am your host, the Love and Light Coach, Dale Lawrence, checking in, back up in the building for all God's children. Listen, if you are in my VIP chat, I call that my VIP section. The VIP needs to be lit. I need the comments going in the VIP I need you lit. If you done made it to the VIP, that means if you on live, even if you on the replay, get in the comments, baby. I read all the comments. Check it in. This is the official flagship show of the Soul Tides movement. Each and every Monday night, I give you kingdom motivation for your life situation. This is Motivation Monday. Every Monday night, 8 p.m. Central, we do it just like this. And I report to you on how the 100 city Detox tour is going. This past week, Springfield, Missouri. Oh, it was awesome. If Springfield is in the building, I need you to let it be known. Let everybody know it, it was fire. Oh, Springfield was off the chain. Springfield was off the chain, y'all. Listen, but listen, y'all, we going to get right into it tonight. I'm here to motivate you. Listen, y'all have been handling business. As of right now, hold up, hold up. As of right now, y'all, y'all know my goal. By next Motivation Monday, which is next week, my goal is 2,000 subscribers. We are 13 subscribers away. Oh, my God. Y'all, listen, right now, quit playing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button right now. All my newcomers, hit the subscribe button. Even if you've been coming and you've been disobedient, handle your business, man. Because tonight I'm standing on kingdom business. I'm fighting for this. Next Monday, I'm going to be able to tell you that my soldiers, my affectionate group of followers of the Soul Ties movement, all across this country, handle their business. If you subscribe, that means you share this with somebody else. Say, hey, you need to get in on this Motivation Monday. Hit the subscribe button. We are faithing for 2,000 subscribers. Let's go. 8 don't cost you a thing to hit the subscribe button, baby. But guess what? It, it, listen, it will cost you your life because I'm telling you right now, the information that we give every week on Motivation Monday, you need it. The Bible says we live by faith. Faith is a lifestyle, and that's why I've dedicated every Monday night to be with you in your journey, to be your coach for life and for love. Don't play with it. Y'all see the title. Let's get into it right now. My motivational scripture for this week, y'all, is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36. Hebrews 10, verse 36, it says this, for what you have need of is patience. That after you've done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Oh, my God. Your promise is on the other side of your patience. Oh, my God. Yo, already that didn't encourage somebody. VIP, talk to me. How many people know that you've been waiting and waiting for oh so long? Just starving like mother for a Cool J song. Come on, LL. Y'all don't know about that. That's the great bishop, LL Cool J. 
You've been waiting in the bait for oh so long. Hey, listen, how many people been waiting for something you've been praying for? You've been waiting on the promise to be fulfilled. You see the vision. You've been daydreaming about it. You know that your life is about to take a drastic turn for the better. But you're in this holding pattern. It seems like you're stuck. Who am I talking to? It seems like, it, you know, every now and then the enemy seems to bring depression, bring negative thoughts. Come on, somebody. Who am I talking to tonight? I'm here to let you know that your promise, God still go do what he promised, but it's on the other side of your patience. I love how this verse goes. It says what you have need of is patience. Now, let me break that down. You may think patience is me just waiting idly by the side. No, that's not what patience is. Patience in this particular text, it means to be able to withstand difficult circumstances without compromising. Stop the show. Oh, stop the show. Difficult circumstances without giving up on your dream. Listen, I'm here to help you tonight. Motivation Monday for all my newcomers. It goes like this. I give you a motivating scripture that we, we meditate on all week. All week long, we read it, we pray about it, we read it over and over again, and then I give you application points. I give you key points on how to fulfill the very scripture we're meditating on. Now, in this particular uh, scripture, it, it pretty much tells us that we need patience. But, Dale, how does one acquire this type of patience? This is a spiritual type of patience. It's not that we're just, like I said, we're not sitting back and just idly waiting on God to do what he promised us he's going to do. No, there's some things, there's some adjustments, adjustments that we have to make. And I'm going to give you four adjustments this week, four adjustments that you need to make to make sure that the promise that God has for us, remember, this is 2024, the year of more. It is 2024, the season, spring forth, that we spring. That means that God is going to accomplish more in one move than he will in multiple steps. Stop the show. Did you hear what I said? For this spring season, hear me, hear me when I say March, April, and May. These next three months, God is going to supernaturally Watch this. Advance you. Advance you in such a way. Advance you in all three areas of your life. Financially, physically, and spiritually. He's going to advance you. Advance your life in your career. Advance you in your health. Advance you in your soul. Why, where do I get that from? I get that from 3 John and 2. Beloved, above all things, I want you to prosper and be in health. See that? Health. I want you to prosper financially, physically in my hand, as well as your soul, spiritual, spiritual. So, so, so that's every area of your life that I'm prospering. And, and, and we're going to get there in one leap, in one spring, in one jump. Watch this. And the jump is, watch this, what we're doing tonight is patience. Ooh, the tea is magical tonight, y'all. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Here are your four, four functions right here. I'm getting ready to give them to you. The four adjustments that you need to make to make sure that you are properly patient. Mm, that's good. Here it is. Okay, so if you find yourself discouraged, if you find yourself people kind of, you know, getting on your nerves and negative talk, trying to talk you out of your situation. If you find all of that to be going on, here it is. Number one, you need it, all of them. Y'all know I love alliteration. So all of them going to be AM, AMs. All right. Step into the AM. Come on, third base. I'm an old school hip hop phone. I'm on an old school kick tonight. LL, third base. Let's go. Additional ministry. That's your first step. Now, I got the answer for you on that. Your additional ministry is going to come from watching Motivation Monday every week. But see, some, some of us need more, need a little bit more. That's why you need to join the Soul Society. Don't worry, I talk about that at the end. But additional ministry is so important because you need a coach. 
to be able to advise you on certain particular areas in your life that need additional ministry. Sometimes we fall off because of a lack of faith in that area. And faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So you need that coach, that love and life coach in your life that will minister to your misery. Ah, here we go. Number two, you need added meaning. Mm, that's good. Added meaning. That means it needs to be a relaunch of why you want the promise, why you want the life you want. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you could be doing life wrong for so long that it becomes the motivation to be better becomes stale. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Yeah, you can go through the, the Ferris wheel of the mundane day after day after day. And then after a while, you just be like, this is just my life. There's no excitement. You know, there, there's no action. You know, I, I just go do, do the same thing over and over again. And that is not your life. That is not the life God has promised you. You need to have added meaning. It needs to be restored and reimagined not only the meaning for your living, but the meaning for why you're going for better. Ooh. Number three, adjust your mouth. Mm. A lot of times that we get tired along the way of the race, a lot of times we get tired is because we talk ourselves out of our own blessing, out of our own destiny. Yeah, life and death is in the power of the tongue. And sometimes we will listen to the enemy's thoughts of negativity, of failure, and of all that, and we'll begin to repeat it. The reason why you ain't finan financially set is because you be telling people, hey man, can I borrow $20? Here, here go you, I'm broke. Man, I ain't got it. <laughs> You're literally speaking a concurrent condition over your life by stating what you don't have. Watch your mouth. Up. You need to adjust your mouth. The Bible says those who are poor say you rich. Oh, my God. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, it's the saying. He said if you're sick, say you're healed. It's the power of your words that change your world. Teach, Dale. And number four, watch this. Alter your magnification. Mm, that's good. Alter. Alter your magnification. Here it is. You magnify the problem instead of the solution. Stop. Who am I talking to? You magnify the bad news rather than the good news. Stop the show. Stop, stop the show. Who am I talking to? I'm, I'm tearing up my studio. Listen. You magnify all the bad stuff. Listen, when you hear that bad stuff, whether it comes from the devil, whether it comes from your surroundings, or whether it comes from you, you need to cast down all those imaginations and start speaking it like you want to see it. The Bible says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. So don't call it like you see it. Call it like you want to see it. I'm, I'm going to give you a Bible on that. Call those things that be not. Somebody come, come and get me, boy. Call those things that be not as though they were. So that means I don't have to have money in the bank now. But guess what? It don't cost me nothing to call it. I don't have to have the car that I want. But it don't cost me nothing to call it. Mm. I don't have to have the apartment, the house that I want to live in. The husband that I want, the wife that I want, I don't have to have it, but if I keep speaking, and if I wait patiently, my God, I will receive the promise, here it is, wait on the Lord, and they that wait on the, on the Lord shall renew, there it is, your strength, so here it is, this is the renewal of your strength, here is your recap, here it is, the faithful four, number one, I need additional ministry, tonight, I need to sign up for the Soul Time Society, and get Dale as my life coach, number two, added meaning to my life, I need to remind myself and reimagine that I'm here for a reason, and I'm here for a purpose, and that purpose needs to be defined. Number three, I need to adjust my mouth. Stop speaking death on my own life. I need to start speaking life on the life that I want to have and not on the life that is before me right now because this is temporary. My future has not yet been told. And number four, I need to alter magnification. Stop magnifying the bad and the problems and start magnifying the word of life that will in turn fill me with the energy and faith that I need to press 
toward the promise. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this motivational word this week. As we close out the month of March, the first quarter of the year of war, 2024, I pray that everyone makes the necessary adjustments so they can be patient and receive their promise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, and amen. Listen, if that word blessed you at all, I need you to be a blessing to the machine, be a blessing to the movement, be a blessing to the ministry, the Soul Ties on Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. I want you to sow your seed 24 for the year of 24. This is the year it turns around for you. This is the year you get creative. This is the year you step out of your mundane, sorry life and step into the destiny that God has promised you. Yeah, sow that seed right now. Everybody drop it off. Sow that seed right now. And listen, on tonight, I want you to sign up to the Soul Society. Absolutely free. When you sign up to the Soul Society, God told me to open up the Soul Society for this year only. For free. It's absolutely free. There are options for you to give, but that's on you. But I will come in and personally be your love and life coach. Yes, absolutely free. Every week you receive all of my exclusive content as well as a monthly coaching call from me. Listen, I want you to sign up. There's the information right there on your screen. You go over to Patreon, type in my name, Dale Lawrence. That's Dale with one L. Dale Lawrence, all right? Sign up for free tonight. And most of all, hit the subscribe. I feel in my spirit, 2000 tonight. 13 people. Who's going to be my 13? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. Who's my new sub and follower? Who's my new soldier of the Soul Ties movement? Listen, I'm out of time, y'all, but I'm not out of content. That's why you got to join me at the Soul Ties Society. But I'm out of here. Next week, same bad time, same bad channel. And it will be a brand new month as we get ready for this eclipse. Motivation Monday is still until then. Stay in faith, stay focused, and stay motivated. I'm out. You need.